I'm going to show you how to cut the skin off a fillet of salmon. Now this is a fresh fillet of salmon. Now whether your fillet is fresh or it's been cured, it doesn't really matter, the process is exactly the same. Lay your salmon out on a board, tail end towards you. And I, my fillet's really quite big, so it's dangling off the end. But that doesn't matter, don't worry, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna make or break. What is gonna matter is the kind of knife you use. You want a long knife, at least as long as your salmon is wide. Because as you can imagine, if you're gonna cut the skin off this fish, it needs to stretch the whole way across it. So you need a, a knife that's of a good length. You also need a knife that's got a bit of flexibility in it. So check it bends like that before you start. This is just about enough. Any stiffer than that and it's not the right knife for the job. So you start down at the bottom and we want to get a good grip on the very end skin. And not on the meat itself, just on the skin. Now it's quite slippery to get a hold of. So what's a good idea sometimes is get a piece of paper cloth, paper kitchen towel, or, um, or just a dish towel, and hold the end of it. Now what you want to do is make a small cut, and you want to get the knife flat as quickly as you can, but slightly, slightly angled down. So this, this is flat, that's slightly angled. Can you see the difference? Slightly angled down, as if you're going to cut through the skin of the fish. If it's too sharp an angle, you will cut through the skin of the fish. So that the trick is to have it not quite flat, but almost flat. Because what you don't want is when you're cutting down your fish, the knife to be angled up, because then you'll come up and cut out the meat, which won't work. Firm grip of the fish skin. Knife angled slightly down, and just seesaw motion all the way up the fish. Now, if you're worried you're cutting through the skin or you're leaving too much meat on the skin, you can always lift it up and have a look. Yeah, that's just about right. Scraping the skin, getting everything off it, but not cutting through it. You can lift it up if you like. Try not to do it too often. You might break all the little flakes of the salmon and you want it all to be together. So back to my knife. Right, I'll check how I'm going. Oh, came up a bit there, but I'm still okay. It's not too much fish to leave on the skin. Right, I'm going to pull the fillet back so the end goes on the board. Obviously, if your salmon fillet's quite small, you won't need to do this. Good grip on the skin. And let's carry on. I don't know the other end. Now, the moment of truth. Oh, left a little bit on the end, but that's not a worry. We can always get rid of that. Now, obviously, you want to get rid of the skin here, but you also want to get rid of this, this brown fat. It doesn't look too nice, a little bit fatty in your mouth. I'm just going to trim that little bit of skin off the end with a sharp knife. There we go. Right. Now, this brown skin here, you can trim off. Same way. Gentle seesaw motions. This is when you're glad you've got a nice bendy knife. You need to cut down a bit along the, this part here. Where there's a little blood vessel to take out. Okay. Right. So there you go. You can spend all day on it if you like. But for me, that's good enough.